Hello again. Right. I think today what we should do is do a cartoon character but just using basic shapes. So let's we'll have a circle and a bigger circle as a basic outline for the thing. Now Ooh, what should we draw? We could draw anything I know. Let's say to this basic shapes into say a troll. Now lots of different people have different ideas on what is a troll. I didn't really know for quite a long time what a troll was until I had several move in to my house I know they talk about trolls as nasty people on computers these days but uh, this particular troll is going to be a slightly nicer character perhaps We'll see where the drawing goes, shall we? But, uh... So we start off with the basic... Two circles. But I think we want to make this... Chap... We're going to make his head... Wider at the bottom. And it is at the top. Like so, we got his nose pretty much where we want it. So that's all right. We could take some of these lines out now. I think most of my drawings can be broken down into basic shapes, which is a kind of a handy way of remembering things. Although, to be honest, I do use a light box. But it's not actually a box anymore, it's a light panel. And these are quite inexpensive. And uh, I'll actually show you mine sometime do some tracing on it now I know tracing is a big taboo but uh, it does tend to save time and if you're doing things commercially time as they say is of the essence because if somebody gives you a brief they want you to finish that brief within a particular time scale. And it's no good turning around and saying sorry. It's not ready. Because that is a guaranteed way to find yourself no work. which at the moment is kind of hard enough to find as it is. See, there we go. Now, I don't know, as I say quite often, of this is your idea of what a troll looks like? I don't know. I mean, this is, a, as you can see, quite a friendly chap. But, I mean, I understand. I don't know personally. I've never met any... I met some, some of these fellas that are very similar to this. 
I actually live in my back room. I quite don't know how we quite came to that arrangement. And they don't actually pay any rent. So, but they don't need a lot. Which is a good thing. In fact, I don't quite know what they do eat. They do like a drink. I know that. And they tend to brew their own beer, which is uh, quite a topic of conversation. Because they use old socks as a basic ingredient. Fermented down. I'm going to give this chap Quite a thin neck, I think. So, there we are. And what shall we do? Shall we? Let's make this chow. Give him some whis whis wispy whiskers. And I think we're going to make him look like a grand. Wizard, a troll wizard. I don't know if there is such a thing as a troll wizard, but this little fella's going to be one. Because we like magic. We like magic in my house anyway. I talk about magic a lot. I think it's important. To have magic in your life. Now I think we're going to take a little notch at this chaps here. Because he's seen some battles in his time. And that's one thing you find out very quickly. When you mix with these chaps. Or giants and dragons. Elves. Or trolls. Witches and the likes, wizards, that there is quite a lot of conflict in their world. People end up being put to sleep for hundreds of years. I know, you know, it's fascinating. There's been lots of books written about it. I mean, I don't know what they're based on. I think they're based on true stories. I don't know. I think mean, it's up to you if you want to believe they're true or not. That's fine with me. I'm not going to argue with you. Well, not today, anyway. I don't like, uh, well, I do actually like a discussion, so that's not entirely true. I think the best thing in life is if everybody agreed with me, then we'd save an awful lot of time, wouldn't we? And... That would be, make things far simpler, wouldn't it? I've got to keep, be aware of the time. Because we've got a time limit, really, when you upload things to YouTube. You don't really want to go over 15 minutes if you could help it. I don't know where we are now because I didn't put the timer on when I started. More silly me. See, now then. I don't think you, I think you can work to any scale on these that you want to, really. You can make them any shape because it's like people in the real world, there's plenty of different shapes. Everybody's entitled to their own shape, aren't they? Not for me to say. There we go. Now we're going to do this. There, you see. And I'm going to turn this a bit of circle around now. That's going to be this little chaps. We're going to have a nice little medallion. around his neck. There you go. Now we'll run that up through there like that. And I'll we'll run that up 
through there like that. There we are. See. Oh, you could doodle away at these things. See, oh, it's content, I think. And I mean, the shape of the ears is entirely up to you. I mean, the ear shapes, woof, well, they, they come in all shapes and sizes, ears. I mean, these are loosely based, I suppose, that you are a pig's ear. But I don't know. Is it? I don't, well, I suppose, oh, a bat. Maybe a bat, no. It could be a bat, I suppose, not Batman. Fine figure of a man he is. But I don't have anything to do with people like that, i got to be honest with you. I tend to mix with wizards, which is... I have a wizard called Merlin, who lives in my attic. And I actually did a video earlier on of how to draw a vulture. Now he has a vulture that lives with him called Genghis. I've mentioned this before. And it's apparently this vulture is named after Genghis Khan. But uh, like I said before, I don't know if there's any truth in that. Because Merlin says he knew him, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he, he claims to be the Merlin. And who am I? To say he's not. I mean, he's got to be living somewhere. And it's, uh, again, rent free in my attic. But, uh, I mean, he comes in very useful. Comes in very useful. We have a VW camper van that is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Which is quite useful with all the characters we've got to take on holiday. There you go. I'm not going to do a much more than to this because I'm very conscious of the time. And uh, so there you are. But uh, I should be here again. If you've enjoyed the little doodle, because after all, that's what these things are, really. I might come back, actually, and do a bit more to this. So we could call this part one, couldn't we? So I might do part two and do a bit more. Okay, well, take care.